Reverend Lunch Lady here. Today I want to read you a story. And if we haven't met yet, I am the founder of Big Happy Love and Love Muffin Coaching. But I am on a mission right now to support all people and singles who may be feeling anxious or worried about their future and to be that reminder to you that no matter what's happening outside in the world no matter what appears to be falling apart or what fears are coming up that there's no stopping love that you cannot quarantine love and that these are the times that actually underscore what really matters to us the most so if you're feeling that loneliness or wishing you were in a better relationship because quarantining alone or with the wrong person is is not fun then i'm here to guide you support you offer you the healing tools and strategies so that you can change that and really it's a matter of working from here and you can create anything so today's story that I wanted to read you is about that, is about how we get to create our futures. And it's one of my favorite stories anyway. And it just popped into my mind as I was watching all these teachers around the globe reading online to their students. And I just thought that was so sweet. And then I thought, wait a minute, I love reading stories. I'm going to read you a story and let this be the, um, contribution to your own love story because this truly can invite a new possibility if you let it so the story which you may have heard the story before um but i will say it sounded a lot different when i read it today so interesting how when we pick up something at a different time and place it sounds totally different um and i love that about words this book is called, well, this story is called Frederick, and it's by Lee, Leo Leone. And so we'll begin. Enjoy. All along the meadow where the cows grazed and the horses ran, there was an old stone wall. In that wall, not far from the barn and the granary, a chatty family of field mice had their home. But the farmers had moved away, the barn was abandoned, and the granary stood empty. And since winter was not far off, aka impending pandemic, the little mice began to gather corn, sandwich meats, cereals. Um, a lot of vegetables, but you know, still surprisingly some available. Nuts, oh, that would be more like uh, antibacterial soap, uh, bleach, uh, Purell, wheat, toilet paper, paper towels, and straw. Massive amounts of alcohol, chocolate, Surprisingly, not salt and vinegar chips or ice cream. There's plenty of that too. Anyway, they all worked day and night, all except Frederick. Frederick, why don't you work? They asked. I do work, said Frederick. I gather the sun rays for the cold, dark, piracy days. And when they saw Frederick sitting there, staring at the meadow, they said, oh, and now, Frederick, I gather the colors, answered Frederick simply, for COVID-19 is gray. And once Frederick seemed half asleep, are you dreaming, Frederick? They asked reproachfully, but Frederick said, Oh no, I'm gathering words for the quarantine days are long and many, possibly, hopefully not. 
and we'll run out of things to say. So the virus C days came. We, they were locked down, required to stay home. And when that first snow fell, the five little field mice took to their hideout in their stones. In the beginning, there was lots to eat. One of them ate like seven hot pockets in one day. Oops. And the mice told stories of foolish foxes and silly cats. They were a happy family. Probably So little by little, they nibbled up most of the chips and the snacks and the Hot Pockets and the Oreos and et cetera. The toilet paper was almost gone. And the wine, definitely gone. It was cold in the wall and no one felt like chatting. Then they remembered what Frederick had said about the sun rays and the colors and the words. What about your supplies, Frederick? They asked. Close your eyes, said Frederick. And as he climbed on a big stone, now I send you the rays of sun. Do you feel their golden glow? And as Frederick spoke of the sun, the four little mice began to feel warmer. Was it Frederick's voice? Was it magic? And how about the colors, Frederick? They asked anxiously, close your eyes again. Frederick said, and when he told them of the blue periwinkles and the red poppies and the yellow wheat and the green leaves and the berry bush, they saw the colors as clearly as if it was painted in their mind. And the words, Frederick, Frederick cleared his throat, waited a moment, and then said, as if from stage, who scatters the snowflakes? Who melts the ice? Who spoils the weather? Who makes it nice? Who grows the four leaf clovers in June? Who dims the daylight? Who lights the moon? One is the spring mice, spring mouse who turns on the showers. Then comes the summer who paints in the flowers. The fall mouse is next with walnuts and wheat. The winter is last with little cold feet. Aren't we lucky to have seasons of four? Think of a year with one less or one more. And when Frederick had finished, they all applauded. Yay! But Frederick said, but Frederick, they said, you're a poet. Frederick blushed, took a bow, and shyly said, I know it. So what are you creating? What are you receiving? What's available to you if you are not a, getting sucked into all of the fear? How can you be that source for you? So you can actually rise and thrive in this. You get to do that. And it's up to us in taking care of our own emotional well-being to just notice how our mind is is directing us and we can stop and create something different in each moment so what can you do what are you receiving what are you aware of what's really you know coming up that maybe something that you hadn't actually acknowledged before in the status quo world and now that we're here you know are those things that maybe you didn't think were important arising up and saying you know what this actually does matter to me or what are those possibilities that are coming through you 
that actually could make a huge difference in this, even just by you being at peace and, and feeling um, more powerful in this experience. So I love the wisdom of the story and how we can be a different contribution or a greater contribution to the people around us. Because I know that if you're watching this, you have your own unique genius. And I know that if you're single and you're alone and that's painful, that you know this is the time that you don't have to give up on creating connections. In fact, we can leverage all of the tools in the space where you know people are jumping into the online world and longing for connection and there may be others of you that are recognizing that you're in a relationship that is not working for you and in the in the hunkering down it's becoming very clear so i encourage you to just know and be aware of what's true for you right now and we can do this we can do this we're going to be okay and i'm here for you reach out let me know how i can support you and thanks for listening bye